This video explains how to compare the slopes and intercepts of two linear functions that are represented in two different forms. Here's the scenario. Mike and Carol walk to school. Look at the functions and write equations for each, and then tell who walks faster. So you have a graph of Mike's walk to school, and you have a table of values for Carol's walk to school. Let's first take a look at Mike's walk. The graph of Mike's walk is a straight line. There's a linear relationship here between the time it takes him to walk and the distance he covers. Let's build a table of values to organize some of the information about Mike's walk. So we'll have the x, which is the time in minutes, and the y, which is the distance he's covering. Take a look at the point where he's starting, at 0, 0. So this is going to be both the x-intercept and the y-intercept and it tells us at zero time he hasn't gone anywhere yet so he's traveled zero miles. Let's pick another easy point to plot. If you look here at 20, at 20 minutes you can see that it's on a crosshair. If you come straight across then you've got a distance of one mile. So this is an easy point to plot or an easy point to pull from the graph. After 20 minutes Mike has traveled one mile. Another easy one would be here at 40. You can see it's on a crosshair also. So at 40 minutes, we can come straight across and see that Mike has traveled two miles. So we have the point 40 and 2. Now let's take a look at the slope of the line that represents Mike's walk. You know that the slope can be calculated by finding the change in the y values and dividing that by the change in the x values. Or we say slope, which is usually denoted by the letter m, lowercase, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we take any two points on the line, let's look at 20 comma 1 and 40 comma 2, then we should be able to calculate the slope of the line. Let's do 2 minus 1 over 40 minus 20, and that gives us 1 over 20 for the slope. In slope-intercept form, we can write this equation as y equals 1 20th x, and then since the y-intercept is 0, we won't have a b out here or a y-intercept. We could write plus zero, but there's no reason to. Now let's take a look at Carol's walk to school. And we'll do the same thing. We already have the table of values, so let's calculate the slope of Carol's walk, or the slope of the line that represents Carol's walk. Slope, again, can be represented by the change in y divided by the change in x. And that can be calculated using our ordered pairs are y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So if we take any two points like 16 comma 1 and 32 comma 2, we should be able to calculate the slope. The slope is going to equal 2 minus 1 over 32 minus 16 or 1 16. And from here, we can write the equation that represents Carol's walk to school. We would have y equals 1 16th x, and because her intercept is also 0, 0, we don't have a b to put out here. It would be plus 0, but there's no reason to write plus 0. So to compare, the slope or the rate of change for Mike is 1 20th, and for Carol, it's 1 16th. Now what does this mean? This means it takes Mike 20 minutes to walk one mile. And it takes Carol 16 minutes to walk one mile. So we can tell by the rate of change, or the slope of the line, that Carol is walking faster. And if we had a graph of Carol's walk, we would see that Carol's line would be steeper. It would have a steeper slope. Now you know a bit more about comparing functions in different forms. See you next time!